It's the start of the year when you need some relief from the heat. We came out here to splash around. Brad Thorberg knows a perfect summer day for his four-year-old daughter is one spent in the water. It's getting close to too hot. We spend a lot of time at the pool in the summertime. Heat in Denver. That could lead to us seeing 90 degrees for the first time this year. Yeah, it's too hot. <laughs> too hot. If not water, Dejanay Rouse will find something else to cool off. Hot in-house AC fans. What marks the start of the heat this week is also Global Heat Action Day. We're trying to shine a light on the fact that one of the major impacts of climate change is increased days of extreme heat. We are experiencing that here in Denver. Emily Gideon with Denver's climate office says data shows Denver experiences 19 days of above average temperatures in comparison to five decades ago. In Denver, we know that one of the major impacts of climate change is extreme heat and more days of extreme heat. So the city is working with different neighborhood groups to plant more trees in areas with less canopy coverage. They're also offering home energy rebate programs to cool homes and provide cooling centers for those in various who need ways. It. We're trying to keep people cool and safe in the short term and we're also really trying to work to reduce pollution and uh, tackle climate change so we can protect our city in the long run. When the city is looking for more solutions, the people here are looking for their own ways to stay cool too. She loves the water, so this is fun for her to come down and cool off. If you want any information about the rebate programs or other resources offered by the city, we'll have all of that information available on our website with the story at 9news.com. In the studio, Angela McCall, 9news. Angeline, thank you.